Good morning, everyone. As Trina runs up to get her glasses because she can't see the, to make a video, I might as well get started. So here we are in the woods again. There's my good little powers up. Husqvarna works good. As you can see, we're making another park. This one's a little more filled in than what we usually do, but this customer doesn't want everything cut down. All the small stuff cut. He just wants uh, all the dead stuff and uh, stuff that's on the ground taken out. And it looks pretty good. There were some big old trees here. That big old spruce there. Geez, that was a big tree. Just dead as a doornail. This big old popple here. He was dead, or birch, I should say. Dead as a doornail. A lot of big dead trees in here. The size of this oak. I know cameras really don't show size or depth or hills very well but that thing is huge he's that big but yeah oh there she is she got her eyeballs on I do. all right i'll let her take over we're just uh our trusty dump cart bertha what would we do without that i'm telling you in an area like this right what would you do how would you get the wood out of here uh, i'll sure. get her to i'll yeah. get her to follow me where yeah. we're going here i'll show you the bank that Otherwise, we're throwing this stuff up that bank, and no, I don't think so, Tim. So don't go any other way without destroying everything. What else could you use? And destroying your back trying to throw it up that bank. Well, I'll show you. You'll see. It's not so bad there. The bank here, but she gets deeper. It's not fun, and of course, power poles and cables and small saplings and the likes in the way does not make for a fun day. No, that's, that's a very steep bank. It is. Yeah, that's that's not fun. That bank's five feet. Well, I'm standing on the ground, and that's where the driveway sits. Is up there. Okay. You're not walking up it with a stick like this. No. And you trying to chuck them up the last time, that was... Yeah, that, that, that wasn't fun. No, it wasn't. You hurt your back. You were so, definitely sore the next day. Yep. So, this is the only other way that I can see to get this stuff out of here. So, you could get a, a machine down here, but you just destroy everything. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Marking up trees. Turning when you... I've seen... I don't know how many places I've gone to where there's been a small excavator in there and they're, when they swing, they hit the trees. And when you mark, mark on a tree, you allow insects and disease inside and a and lot of times the trees don't survive and they look like crap if they do survive. So, this is the only way that we have to get this stuff out of here. And it works good. Birth of the beast. Yeah. It works good. A little slower, but it works. And not as hard on the body either. Oh my god, no, it's just it's for you know, our, our only other alternative is laborious, so no, love this thing. Okay. I might sneak through here and catch him on the other side, guys. She's kind of rough going here. Lots of, this is still Fiona. All of this is Fiona. Everything we've done for the past two years in terms of trees has in one way or another to do with Fiona. It's crazy. Whether it be fire remediation, simple cleaning it up because it's such a flipping mess. Holding up a kind of a leaning branch here. Okay. Okay. I guess he doesn't need me to hold the branch. We built sort of a, a ramp with our ramps to get up the bank. Granted, 
you don't want to make that wheelbarrow too heavy. Not a thing you want coming back at you. I'll tell you, they come in handy. Oh, I guess they do. They're heavy. Heavy. I guess they're heavy. They're about 100 pounds each. But they come in handy. They do. Were it not for those, we wouldn't be getting up that hill that easy, that's for sure. Nope. And isn't this old poplar heavy? It's been sitting on the ground. For two years. It's been sitting on the ground for two years. Pause. There we go. Bugs are starting. They are. But last year, we were down at Caribou Island. You couldn't even breathe with the mosquitoes. Oh, you were inhaling them. Back into the truck. Talk year, about a high protein any, diet. There's hardly any mosquitoes. I don't know what happened. Oh, I know. People are going to say, oh, that's global warming. Nah, I don't think so. I think it was early frost or late frost that killed them off. Oh, no. That's global warming, too, right? But see, there's years that certain bugs are heavy. Like there was a year we had, it was crazy for earwigs. Another year it was crazy for spiders. We yeah, saw little cocoons, right? <laughs> it's insane. Another year it was crazy for hornets. Little stuff. We'll just throw up on the side of the road here. I think this fella's free. I'm, oh, sorry, I was checking a tree. I thought I'm it was broken. Stuff up. Well, you got the camera. The director can't do that. Oh, sorry. The film editor and the director all in one. Well, you're directing me, so how does that work? Well, <clears throat> That one's stuck into the van. I couldn't get it to budge. Okay. Never mind. Okay. You had your Wheaties today. No, it was just loose. You got it loose for me. Oh, that's what it was. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> the discs like that aren't well, too bad. Well, that's why we cut them this small. So we can pick them up. Because <laughs> they're just rotten. I don't know if you know what poplar, poplar is. Poplar is in the Aspen family. And there's lots of different kinds of popple. There's trembling, you know, or I should say, lots of different kinds of aspen. Poplar is just one of them. There's trembling aspen, large aspen, large tooth aspen, small, small tooth aspen. Oh, silver oak is in the, in that family as well. Lots of them. And what's, is there a commonality between them? Are they all close, uh, open cell trees? So that's why they hold up so much water? It's, uh, it's the way, it's the way the cells are developed inside the tree. Yes, that's why they soak up so much water. That's an ugly spot. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, that can probably get tossed. It's an ugly spot. It won't be so ugly once we're done. No, we only get all this one more load here. Crap and crud up out of here. Yeah, that's a, we can grab that when we go to do the other pot over that way. There's a load there that we can back right up to with the truck. And nice. another little load up in there. Yeah, there's another. Well, there's some over there. I'm gonna come over there where I can see Matt. So, I'm gonna go for a bit of a tour. I just gotta get into. There's a little bit over here. 
another so, pile down there. There's another pile over there. There's another pile so not, right there. It's not a heck of a lot. We're just going to take that stuff out to the, the neighbor's driveway. Yes. Which is, they said, it's perfectly fine for us to do. Well, it's a little easier than trying to lug and slug it from there up to there. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just a minute. Then I got to grab a, a muffin or something. Get hungry. is powerful. It is. You climb that hill with about three to four hundred pounds of old wood on it. Yep. It's a powerful little machine and it's just idling. I just have it on idle. I don't want to go very fast. Uh. Yeah. Soggy, heavy, oh. wet, yep. rotten, stinky, stinky, full of bugs. Full of bugs. Yeah. Uh, if, uh, if you get a bug uh, cringe, this kind of job is not for you. No. It takes eight loads of this wheelbarrow to fill this trailer. And you wouldn't think that you know, eight loads of this little thing, eight loads completely fills this trailer. And as always guys, when you're filling a trailer, be mindful of how you set your, your wood or whatever it is you've got in there. You want to try and balance your load. You don't want it oh, overly heavy at the front, overly heavy at the back. It can cause problems and... Oh, I guess it can, hon. Yeah. Good, good point. I know there's going to be professionals on there. Well, we all know this. Well, yes, but, but there not. are people that don't. There are a lot of people that don't. They'll slam it in wherever the closest is and go from there, but that's exactly. not always a good idea. A lot of homeowners rent trailers like this to do this sort of thing, and they'll just throw wood in, and if you got too much in the front, it's dangerous. If you get too much in the back, it's dangerous. Try to even your load out. Well, it causes issues when you're driving. You'll feel it. Yeah. Oh, it can start. Pull you right off the road. It, it gets bad. Yeah. So yeah, just even your load out. It doesn't, you don't gotta put it all in the front and all in the back. Just throw it all and scatter it evenly if you can. Whew. Anyway, I've gotta get a drink and a, and a muffin. Okay. I'm just trying to give you guys some kind of perspective as to uh, the slant of this. I'm going to kind of watch him for a second, then I'm going to go up the other end from the driveway and show you that it is a bit of a, a slant. <laughs> and no, this thing is not hard to turn. It's no, very, it, very easy. doing his thing. Oh boy. Yeah, some big fellas now. Ugly. Yep. This is, uh, yeah, not very nice. No. Nope. You might maybe bring your saw, Matt. Oop. There's a few there that might need a little hacking up. Oop. Yeah, that's, that's ugly. Clinch your butt cheeks when you lift that. 
Oh, good Lord. So I'm going to hold the camera level, guys. He's down there. That's a dandy little slant Ooh. it is. Fill it. Yes. Well, it's heavy. Heavy. I guess it's heavy. Two oh. years sitting, <laughs> soaking up the water. No, that one's not even cut. No, that's why I say you should grab Ooh. your saw the next trip. Oh well. Oh my goodness. Blech. Other way, Matt. Other backwards. Yes. The other backwards. Oh boy. Battery stern on this thing would be spectacular. Wouldn't it? Car, battery stern. <laughs> we know they watch our videos. Yes, we do. Okay. Lots of rocks, overturned stumps, saplings, just, ugh. Woo! Matt. Woo! Got to be careful of that. Yeah. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's I just really, really heavy. Watch the front tires come right off that tr ramp. Yeah, that's really heavy. Sorry, guys. I don't like lifting it. Heavy like this anymore. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Put a battery start on this thing. Or put an option for a battery start on this thing. Then you've got a awesome piece of gear. Not that it's not awesome already. But anyway. pu pulling that cord, like, no, it just. I mean, okay, from it my standpoint, right? It's, if they can put a battery start on a lawnmower, a, a walk behind lawnmower, they can put a battery start on this. And speaking from a smaller framed individual, I weigh like 109 pounds. It would be so much easier. I simply don't have the strength that he does. Click. There start. you go. As I said, you can put it on a walk behind lawnmower, put it on this thing. This is probably the one, I bet you this is one of the best things they sell. Oh, no right doubt. There. There's no two ways about it. Anyway, we're going to continue with this on this very roasty, toasty day. It's going to be like 30, 38 or 39 degrees with Yee. the humidity. It's going to be sticky. Sticky and so yucky. We're just going to slow down a little bit and just take it easy, clean this up, and then we're going to go do a rock garden. We'll show you that later. Yes. We'll do a short on that. To show you what that looks like. Anyway, air. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I need air. There's, that's that's the problem. Today. It's stifling. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, the old K. Britner used to say it's very, very tight. There you go. The air is tight today. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Bye.